All right, guys, we have a new intro here for the Bear Pack. Trey, if you want to pull up our subscriber goal, we are so very close to 9,000. We are 95 away, actually, from being to 9,000. We're going to give away a sports memorabilia giveaway. Uh, we're going to do that on our live show on Friday coming up here soon. And then we have the 10K subs for 1,000. And then the 12K sub, we're going to send someone to a game again. Probably not the Super Bowl, but who knows? You know, who knows? It depends on how, fa how fast you guys get us there. But, Trey, you would notice that we are down a man. Seth is no longer with us. He had to take a step back dealing with some family stuff. So we, Trey, we love having three people on the show. So we are going to fix that problem with this. Uh, we're looking for one person each week for each video to compete for $250 uh, on our college football, college basketball, NFL, or NBA video. This is going to be a contest for the Bear Pack to enter. All you got to do is comment Bear Pack on the video or sport you wish to compete in. So if you think you know the best, if you know the most in college football, you're going to comment on that college football video. If you think you know the most in the NBA, you're going to comment on that NBA video. Okay, that's how it works. You can only compete in one of these, one of the sports, guys. Only one of them. We will bring on one person per week to record videos for the lot for that selected sport, and they're going to give their picks for the entire week. So how that works is, an NBA, there's usually NBA every night. So we're going to have one person on the NBA show on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You're going to have seven picks. You're going to come on for the NBA. You're going to give out your picks for the entire week. The individual with the best record at the end of the season is going to win $250 for that sport. So we're going to have multiple people in and out every week. There's going to be someone different. If you think you're best in college football, you're going to comment on the college football video. If you think you're the best in the NFL, comment on the NFL video. We're going to keep a running score of everybody who comes on the show and gives out their picks for the week. The winner at the end of the season is going to win $250 for that sport. Something new, something fresh. We want to keep three people on the show, so we're going to ask the Bear Pack members to come on and give their best picks of the week. So if you're interested in that, comment Bear Pack on any of the videos you see this week. All right, Trey, let's get into the video. All right, let's get into some NBA picks and props for Friday, November 17th, Sunday games. Trey, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Uh, you start us off. Yeah, and I ended up being 0-1. That's because I gave out the Brooklyn Nets plus 3.5 against the Miami Heat. The Nets... They lost this game and did not cover for us. They ended up losing by seven points. It was tough to watch. They were down pretty much consistently through this game and was fighting back and could just never get over the hump. You know, I've got the Thunder minus two and a half. They are currently mud stomping the Warriors up by 20 right now in the second quarter. Hopefully that does continue so we can go one and on the days. But try to take a look at our plays for tomorrow. Start us off. Yeah, and I'm going to be attacking this Phoenix Suns at Utah Jazz game, and I'm very excited to watch this game. I gave out these Suns in their last game because I thought the big three was finally going to play. But then Beal sat out, and the Suns, they still ended up winning that game by 18 points. And I do expect something similar here in this game. Give me the Phoenix Suns at minus four and a half here. Simply put, the Suns absolutely own the Jazz historically. Over the last 10 times these two teams have played, the Suns, they are eight and two straight up against the Jazz and are six and four ATS as well. And the Suns, they have won three straight games against the Jazz, and they have done so by an average score of 119 to 106. And I honestly do expect them to win this game by double digits as well. So I love that we're getting this number at five points for the Suns, which I think is easily doable for them. That's because this Jazz team, yes, they have won two games in a row, but they might have been against the two worst teams in the NBA, guys, in the Trail Blazers and the Grizzlies. But then before that, they lost four games in a row, losing those four games on an average of 126 to 109. This Jazz defense has honestly been a massive liability for them this season. And going up against this deadly Phoenix Suns offense, I don't think it's going to bode well that much for them. So give me the road team here. I'm going to take the Phoenix Suns minus four and a half against the Jazz. I try like that play for my play today. I'm going to be looking at the New York Knicks going up against the Washington Wizards. I'm going to take the Knicks on the road, minus 6.5 in the game. I love the Wizards, and I've said it on here a lot that I love the Wizards, but this is just not a good team. They have Jordan Poole. They have Kyle Kuzman. They have a bunch of young players that are pretty selfish. And then they have a couple core players that are good, they're good players, but together they aren't a good team. Uh, despite, uh, I'm going to add some. Corey Kispert, a great player. Nothing bad to say about him. But the New York Knicks, on the other hand, they do have their own problems. But together as a team, they're pretty decent. They're one of the best defending teams in the NBA, and that's going to be the difference in this game. This has blowout written all over because the New York Knicks can make their shots. The Wizards are going to try to throw 53 points in this game. They can technically make those shots, but it's a very low percentage shooting team from three. And you have Jordan Poole out there with Kyle Kuzma throwing up threes. Both those guys haven't been great this season. The Knicks should dominate this game in the inside and play great defense against a team who's slipping to start the season. The New York Knicks also have won four of their last five games, only dropping one of their games against the Boston Celtics and covering the spread in four of those five games as well. Given the Knicks, they're playing much better basketball to roll in this game. Minus six and a half on the road as my play. Trey, let's go to the player prop. Start us off. 
Yeah, and I was 0-1 on the player props as well, and this one hurt even more mm-hmm. because I gave out Cam Johnson over 16.5 points versus the Heat, and this one hurt because we lost on the hook, guys. He only finished with 16 points in this game. He absolutely dominated. I got to give him that. He had a plus 18 and the plus and minus, so he dominated whenever he was in the game. Just didn't play that much, only 27 minutes, and I expected him to reach 30-plus in his fifth game back, but looks like there's still you know teeter-tottering with him. Yeah, but I had Shea Gilgis-Alexander over 30.5 points for the Thunder going up against the Warriors. He had 11 points in this first rotation. Hasn't been back in the game yet. Thunder dominating in that game. So I kind of hope the Warriors come back a little bit so we can get that point total for us. But we're going to move on to tomorrow. Trey, I'll have you start us off. Yeah, I'm going to go with Devin Booker to go over 28.5 points versus the Utah Jazz. I expect Booker to play in this game. They put out a line, so I don't think he's going to sit out here. And whenever he suits up, he scores points. It's really that simple. Because Booker, he's only played in three games this season, and he's averaging 33 minutes per game. So he's almost scoring a point per minute because he has a 31.3 point per game average. But the real reason why I love this over for him here is because Booker absolutely owns the Jazz, especially in Utah. The last five times Booker has played in Utah, dating back to 2020, he's averaging 34.8 points per game. That's because he's putting up a ton of shots. In those five games, Booker, he's averaging over 24 shot attempts per game not even looking at his free throw attempts, which is over double digits as well. And I do expect Booker to show up huge in this game. So give me Devin Booker to go over 28 and a half points versus the Jazz. Yeah, Trey, I love that play. For my play today, I'm going to take Giannis Antetokounmpo to go over his total points against the Charlotte Hornets. I love the Greek freak in this game, not only because he's going up against the Charlotte Hornets, but because he's going to be dominant in this game down low. Over the last 15 games, the Greek freak is averaging 29.5 points per game and 13.9 rebounds per game against the Hornets. If we look at just the last 10 games that he's played against them, he scored 25-plus points in nine of those 10 matchups, and the only time he didn't score 25-plus points was in a game he played 22 minutes and he was injured in that game as well. He scored 34-plus points in half those games, and I expect this total to be somewhere around 28 to 30 points, especially being lower in this game because Damian Lillard is going to be back in the lineup. We should get a decent number here. So I'm going to go with the Greek freak to go over his points against the Hornets, a team he's dominated in his career so far. Trey, let's look at the graphics. Start us off. Yeah, and I gave out the Phoenix Suns minus four and a half against the Utah Jazz. I expect the Suns to honestly just come out and win this game by double digits. They're easily the better team. And the Jazz, yes, they've won two games in a row, but against not very good teams. I'm also parlaying that with Devin Booker over 20 and a half points. I expect him to get a 30 piece here in this game. He's going to dominate. Yeah, and I'm going to go with the New York Knicks minus six and a half going against the Wiz. The Wizards, not a good team this season. Knicks, not a bad team this season, and they play great defense. So I think they're going to roll on the road. And I'm going to take the Greek freak over his points when it comes out. Hopefully we get like 28 and a half, 29 and a half, but I will play this up in the thirties. Uh, he's just dominated the Hornets in his career. So I love that play as well. But guys, that's going to do it for NBA plays and props for Friday, November 17th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video. And thanks for yeah. watching multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to bears profit plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button, right? Just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the bear pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the bear pack gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the bear pack gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 